chronic limb threatening ischemia is a massive global issue facing vascular and endovascular surgeons and in some countries, cardiologists all around the world. Everyone agrees there's an absence of level one evidence and uh, Basel II is our attempt to try and put one more brick in the wall of that level one evidence for uh, patients to try and improve their outcomes. So it was a superiority trial, one-to-one -one randomization between vein bypass first revascularization strategy. And it is important that this is a comparison of strategies and not just of two sets of procedures uh, versus a best endovascular first strategy. And it's a pragmatic trial. So surgeons and intervention radiologists are allowed to use their preferred techniques and equipment and such like. Um, and then we followed the patients up as you, as you do. Um, the primary outcome was amputation free survival. So that's time to major amputation, which we defined as above the ankle or death from any cause, whichever occurs first. What I sometimes say to medical students is that an RCT is not a GPS. It's a wobbly compass near the North Pole. And all it can try and do is push you in a certain direction of travel. One of the things that we have done, um, to try and help with considerations of what we call generalizability is that we've used the vehicle of Basel II to do a prospective cohort study in Birmingham. So using the same case report forms and the same ethical cover, we have done this prospective study of all patients presenting with CLTI over the period of the Basel II uh, recruitment period. And we've got about just short of 500 patients in that. I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone at CX uh, 2023. I'm sure it's going to be a great meeting and it's a pleasure and a privilege for us to be part of it and have the opportunity to present our trial data for the first time.